there, it's Lindsay and I'm back with another unboxing video. If you're new here, I do post content every Monday and Thursday of unboxings from ThreadUp and also the Goodwill Blue Box. I sell part-time on Poshmark and also the Real Real. So today we are going to be opening, I believe, a designer box and this one came from Swanee, Georgia. So if you do enjoy mystery unboxings, reselling content, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the like button for me. I really appreciate everyone supporting my channel. Okay, and this one, if I can get this open, I'll tell you what it is. It is a seven piece DIY designer box from Georgia and I ordered this one on March 24th. So let's take a peek and see what we got. So here is a first look. Looks like quite a few clothes on the top. This is a dress. Um, this is Prabal Garong in a size six. Um, this is a shirt actually, um, kind of a cream with these black stripes and bell sleeves. This is super cute. Really, really cute. I wish that was my size. Um, it looks like it's in good condition. There's a little bit of wash wear, um, you know, some light pilling, but I don't see any holes or stains that are jumping out. That's really fun. So I'll look into that brand, but I'm excited to list that one. I think that that'll do well. Okay, next we have a C by Chloe. So this is Chloe's diffusion line. Um, and this is just a gray cardigan sweater. And there's definitely some, um, you know, pilling on this and some wear. We do have all the buttons, which is great. Um, it's, it's definitely oversized. So let's see if it does have a size tag in it. There are some stains. So this is gonna need to be washed. Um, it's 50% wool and 50% acrylic. It says you can hand wash it. Um, but I don't see a size here. So it could be, maybe it's just one size um, because I mean, honestly, I mean, this would probably fit me. So just depending on how oversized you want the fit. And then it does have a little zipper there. So this one will need a little bit of attention to see if I can get those stains out and also um, depilled a bit, but not bad. And next we have a little Prada Bay and I love this color. It is like a Tiffany blue, and it's just a little mini tote, nylon tote with silver hardware. And there might be a marker too up here. You know, nothing too bad. Um, there is some wear on the handles. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off so we can take a look at the inside. And just the, um, it's kind of a beige, tan, beige uh, interior. It looks pretty clean. There are some marks kind of back here by the zipper. Let's see if that works. Okay, the zipper is a little bit stubborn, but it works. No foul odors. I do like to smell those because they do get a musty odor over time. You know, if somebody has been storing it and not using it. Um, the interior zipper pocket is also a little bit stubborn, but it works. And yeah, I mean, this is in good shape. Um, you know, just a little bit of discoloration and some wear to the handles, but no major defects. So super small size, um, but you know, you could still fit a decent amount in there. So I like that. And the rest, it looks like our shoes. 
so we'll go ahead and grab these. These are Jimmy Choo in a size 36 and a half. These are really pretty white patent leather and then they have a fun snake skin detail on the back. It's kind of red, um, almost like a, a tomato color, like an orange red and then black. Um, and then they have a buckle around the ankle. These have a little bit of wear to the toe, but you know, other than that, they're in good condition. Um, Jimmy Choo's, you know, they don't really sell that well for me. Um, but these are a fun style and being that they're in such nice condition, I mean, really, really excellent condition on these. So I will look into comps on those. Very nice. And next we have a pair of sandals. And these are a size 39. The brand is um, Brunello Cuccinelli. Go ahead and take this off. I've never had his brand, I don't think, um, but it's it's a good brand. Um, these feel like they're you know really soft leather. And is something going on with this, or maybe it's just loose? Yeah. Okay, so instead of a buckle, it just has like where you just kind of lay that over and push it down. So that's kind of nice. Really easy to get in and out of these. Um, they're kind of like creased up in the back and there are some loose rhinestones on the strap. But, you know, not too bad. They still have a lot of life left. Very neutral color. So those are nice. I don't know if maybe you could glue that down. It's not really missing any stones. They're just kind of coming loose there. So not a huge deal, I don't think. So those are good. And next we have a pair of loafers. These are black suede and these are Todd's. These are really, really soft. They're a size 40 and a half. Um, and it does say women's size on it. So, you know, these could be something that are possibly unisex. So, you know, it has, or not this particular pair, but maybe they have a similar ones in men's. So then they're, um, you know, listed separately. So these are in good condition. I mean, they're really, really soft, like a slipper. So I may try those on. Um, and they have the little Todd's logo there. I'm all about the flats, so those might fit me. So very nice. All three of the shoes are, are decent so far. And lastly, we have another pair of shoes. They're kind of a ballet flat. They're Stuart Weitzman and they are a size 7M. And they're kind of got like a croc embossed um, leather with that bow detail and just a really low heel. So these are also in good condition. You know, just a little bit of, you know, wear, but really nice, nice shape. So I never sold um, Stuart Weitzman either, surprisingly, because um, I know a lot of people get that even in their regular shoe box that um, ThreadUp does. But um, those are nice. I'm excited to look into those. So I think this box was was really good. I mean, the Prada tote and, you know, at least the three pair of shoes, the Brunello Cuccinelli's have a little bit of wear to them, but they're still good. And I love that white top that came out first. So um, we had one with the Stuart Weitzman's, two with the Jimmy Choo's. I'm gonna leave these out because I'm gonna try them on. Three with the Todd's, four with the um, Bruno Cuccinelli sandals. And we had, um, so that was four, five with the Prada tote, six with the C by Chloe sweater, 
and seven with this top. And this was um, Prabal Garang Collective in a size six. So let me know what your thoughts are. Um, and again, uh, please hit the thumbs up for me on your way out if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you on the next one. Have a great day.